So what we do here is we have to prove that 1 plus 3 plus 5 up to 2 and minus 1. If, if you see it closely, it is actually sum of. What it is trying to say is that the sum of the first n natural numbers is equal to n squared. Correct? We know this result to be true. and but But how do I show it by the principle of mathematical induction? So what we do is we prove that it is true for n is equal to 1. So, so for n is equal to 1, you, you first of all write that, that in, instead of this, you first of all write that the given statement is Pn 1 plus 3 plus 5 goes up to 2n minus 1 is equal to n squared. This is a statement which has got two sides, an LHS and a, and a RHS, and, and they are equal to this. So, so Pn is this, right? Now what happens? What happens is for n is equal to 1. If I put n is equal to 1 here, it becomes 1. And 1, so the last term becomes 1. And, and what's my first term? My first term is also 1. So it means its LHS starts from 1 and stays there. Correct? Now that is equal to 1 square. It implies that 1 is equal to 1, which is true. Which is true. So what do we say? We say that P1 is, is true. Correct? We have done the first thing that was required in principle of mathematical induction, proving that P1 is true. Correct? That's the first one. Now we we come to the second thing. And that that is what? Let us assume that. Let us assume that pk is true okay let's assume that pk is true so so what happens is 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 pk 1 plus 2 I, i'm sorry i'm sorry not 2 1 plus 3 plus 5 up to, to 2k minus 1. So what have we done? We have replaced all n's with k, right? So is equal to k square. Okay? We have assumed it to be true. Now what happens? We have to prove that. We have to prove that. We have to prove that. And I've always said you should write whatever you have to prove that pk plus 1 is true. So, so you take time to write down pk plus 1, right? What is pk plus 1? It is 1 plus 3 plus 5 pk plus 1. So the last term becomes what? In this, I'm just writing the last term here. So in 2k minus 1, you have to replace this by k plus 1, right? So instead of 2 getting multiplied by k, it now gets multiplied by k plus 1. So it, it becomes actually 2 into k plus 1 minus 1. So that becomes 2k plus 2 minus 1. So that becomes actually 2k plus 1. Do we see that? So the last term becomes 2k plus 1, right? Last term becomes 2k plus 1. You should write the term prior to it as well, right? What is the term prior to it? For k plus 1, it becomes this. For k, it remains what it is, right? So the term prior to it is plus 2k minus 1. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
so so what happens dot 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 okay and I erase this and and close okay there's a dot 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 here so to this is the second last term and this is the last term this is the last term correct and this is how I got the last term and what is the right hand side the right hand side should come out to be k plus 1 whole square right this 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 all is the transformation that I did let me raise that this is the transformation that I did just to show you that the last term will become 2k plus 1 right so 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 let me raise this fine let me, let, me, let me take it a bit bigger one so that it becomes quicker fine it goes okay so so this is what I have to prove now if you look at this and look at this if you compare them compare whatever I have assumed to be true and compare what is to be proved you'll find that that this till here I have got this right so if I add add 2k plus 1 to the LHS and RHS of equation 1 I would have got the LHS of what is to be proved correct so this is what I do so adding adding 2k plus 1 on both sides of on both sides of 1 we get what do we get what happens so 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 you do not write it to be pk plus 1 as of now because you do not know whether the right hand side will turn out to be this we, we are actually in this process of still investigating the truth of it right so you do not write but but I am trying to align it with this so at least I've got the R LHS the same right then we'll see what to do with the RHS so so I get 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2k minus 1 plus 2k plus 1 is equal to k square plus 2k plus 1 at least the LHS is now aligned with what I had to prove right the LHS of whatever I had to prove yes I'm sorry I'm sorry it is supposed to be here yeah. it is supposed to be 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 right 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus correct so so what happens is 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 this is k square plus 2k plus 1 and can you can you see some some similarity familiarity with this what is this expression is it k plus 1 whole square Now the LHS of this as well as the RHS of this matches exactly with the LHS and RHS of PK plus 1. So starting from PK, assuming that PK is true, we have proved that if whenever PK is true, PK plus 1 will be true. Correct? It will always be true and hence, hence I say, therefore, P k plus 1 is true okay and then that last last statement okay hence hence from the PMI from the PMI the statement pn is true for for all natural numbers n okay that's true